My name is Sean Chapoos. I'm a member of the Ute Indian Tribe. I'm a tribal councilman representing Unkapagri Band. I'm also the chairman of the Utah Tribal Leaders and a Bears Ears co-chair. And I'm running for the president C of NCAI. First of all, my, my tribe, and, and I, ha I really have a soft spot for this because it was actually my grandfather who was in the convenience when they first convened to form NCI. So he was one of the founding members. So our tribe has been a founding member. And when NCI was first created, it was created for specific purposes. Termination was the policy of the United States at the time. Forced assimilation of our Native American people and the taking of our lands. So as I got into council, what I noticed was we were starting to get back into that type of era. It may not be written in termination, or forced assimilation, but they've, they've created new tools. The new tool has been through legislative options, legislative actions, and my tribe happens to be in the middle of that kind of a fight. People need to remember that termination policies were actually created in Utah. So my tribe has been involved with termination and the effects of termination. So I felt it was an opportune moment for somebody who has an experience dealing with termination, but who also wasn't reared in the NCI mentality. Not that NCI isn't a good organization, but I am a tribal leader, so I understand how you deal with things from a tribal leader standpoint. One of the other things that I had a concern with was, as I'd go to DC and testify before Congress or meet with congressmen, I would constantly be asked by them, what does NCI have to think? And I tried to remind them, NCI is not the elected leadership of Indian country. Only the elected leaders can speak on behalf of Indian country. So I felt this was a great opportunity to bring NCI back in line to what its original idea was, to elevate the Native Americans and the Native American leaders to deal with issues that address, address them, which address us all. And I think if I'm able to secure this president's position, bring in my knowledge and expertise, and the fact that I'm not caught up in the political um, clique because that's what I see. I am what I am. I'm a tribal leader. I understand the issues. And I think knowing that to elevate the leadership will actually be more beneficial to all of us is the route we need to take because history is changing. But the policy of termination, the policy of taking lands, sacred sites, has reared its ugly head once again. So that's what I'm here for.